Good morning class. Welcome back to grade 4 mathematics. How are you all doing today? We have been learning about division concepts, right? Today, let's see how we can divide a number using 10, 100 or 1000. See this question here. Divide 3425 by 10. How do we usually do this division? See, we first write the dividend and the divisor in a grid. What is the next step? We'll see how many digits of the dividend can we divide with the divisor. Since we are dividing with a two digit number here, let's take the first two digits of the dividend here. Here it is what? It is 34 here. Now divide these two digits of the dividend. Now the dividend we are considering is 34. So divide this dividend with this divisor. So it is 34 divided by 10, right? Now how many 10s will go in 34? 10 ones are 10, 10 twos are 20, 10 threes are 30, 10 fours are 40. See, we have to take the factor or take the number which gives a multiple which is either less than or equal to the dividend we are considering. So that will tell us to take 3 here so that 10 3's are 30. Now what is the next step? The next step is to subtract these two numbers right. So 34 minus 30 is 4. Now what is the next step? To bring down the next digit. So the next digit here is 2. So we bring it down and here we get 42. Now our dividend is this 42. We have to divide this 42 with this divisor. Now 42 divided by 10. How many 10s will make 42? We know 10 4s are 40. So let's take 4 here. Now 4 into 10 is 40 here. Now we subtract 42 minus 40. That gives us 2 minus 0 2. 4 minus 4 is 0. Now there is one more digit to bring down and there we have 5. So now we have 25 here. Now this is the dividend we have to divide with this divisor now. Now how many tens will go in 25? 10 twos are 20. So we write that here. We subtract and we get a remainder 5. Do we have any more digits to bring down? No right. So let's stop the division right there and we get the quotient here as 342 and the remainder here is 5. Now what was the question? The question was 3425 divided by 10 and what is the quotient we got? We got 342 which is the first three digits of the dividend and what was the remainder? It is the last digit of the dividend. So when you divide a number with 10, just take the last digit. See? The last digit or the digit in the ones place as the remainder and the remaining digits of the given dividend will form the quotient. Clear? We will see how we can divide a number with 100. See this question here. Divide 26,246 by 100. Let's see how we can divide this in usual long division method. So here we are dividing with a 3 digit number. So can we divide the first digit with 100? No. What about 2 digits? No. Let's take the first 3 digits and there we have 262. Now we have to divide 262 by this divisor which is 100. So how many 100s will make 262? 100 ones are 100, 100 twos are 200, 100 threes are 300. So since we have to take a multiple which is either less than or equal to the dividend we are considering. Let's take 2 here. So that will make 102. 2 into 100 is 200 here. Now the next step is to subtract these two numbers. So 2 minus 0 it's 2 here. 6 minus 0 it is 6 here. Now 2 minus 2 0. Now we have to bring down the next digit right. So there we bring down 4. So that gives us 624. Now our dividend is this 624. So our next step is to divide this 624 
500. Now how many hundreds will go in 624? 6 right? 100 6 is on 600. So we write 6 here. 6 into 100. 600 here. And we subtract giving us 24. Now there is one more digit to bring down. So that is 6 here. Now how many hundreds will go in 246? So next dividend is 246 and we divide that by the divisor 100. We know 100 choose are 200. So we write that here. We subtract giving us 46. Any more digits to bring down? No, right? So let's stop the division right there. Now we get the quotient as 262 and what is the remainder? 46. We cannot divide 46 by 100 as well. So let's stop the division right there and coming back to a question once again. The question was 26,246 divided by 100 and we got the quotient 262 and the remainder as 46. So when you divide a number with 100, see the last two digits of the dividend means the 1's digit and the 10's digit will form the remainder and the rest of the digits to the right of the these two digits to the right of these two digits will form the quotient of the division. See that once again, if a number is divided by 100, then the digit at the ones and tens place together form the remainder and the rest of the digits form the quotient. Hope this is clear to you. Now we'll see the division with 1000. Look at this question. Divide 73,253 by 1000. With usual long division method, I'm going to consider the first four digits since I'm dividing with the four digit number. So there we have 7325 divided by 1000. We know 1000, 1's are 1000, 1000, 2's are 2000, 1000, 3's are 3000 and so on and 1000, 7's are 7000, right? So I'm going to write 7 here. Now 7 into 1000 gives you 7000. Now subtracting these two numbers gives us what? 5 minus 0, 5, 2 minus 0, 2, 3 minus 0, 3 and here 7 minus 7, 0. Now what is the next step to bring down the next digit? So that gives us 3253. Now next step is to divide 3253 with this 1000. How many thousands will go in 3,253? 3, right? So let's write 3 here. So it's 3 into 1,000, it's 3,000. And we subtract giving us how much? 253. Now is this 253 divisible by 1,000? No. And is there any more digits to bring down? No. So let's stop the division right there. And we have the quotient here, 73 and we have the remainder 253. Looking back at the question once again, 73,253 divided by 1000 gives us the last three digits or the digits at the ones, tens and hundreds places. Together these digits will form the remainder and the rest of the digits. The remaining digits will form the Quotient. Clear? So when you divide a number by 1000, the digit at the ones, tens and hundreds places together form the remainder and the rest of the digits form the quotient. Clear? Now we'll see one word problem. A group of 4383 children went for trekking. There they formed groups of 100 for doing group activities. How many groups did they form? And how many children were left? So what is given in the question? How many total, how many, how many children went? The total number of children went for trekking was how much? 4,383. And there they divided themselves in groups of 100 each. How many people, how many children were there in each group? There were 100 children each in each group. They divided themselves into groups to form group activities. You are asked to find out 
how many groups did they form and also after grouping how many children were left how many children were left there standing without being part of any group so how we can do that actually what we have to find out we have to find out this 4383 divided by 100 how these many children were divided into groups of 100 children each that is what we are going to find out and this will give us the quotient for this will give us how many groups were formed right and the remainder will tell us how many children were left without being grouped so let's write the steps from the data given in the question the total number of children who went for tracking is equal to 4383 the number of children in each group is equal to 100 from the question and the number of groups formed is equal to the quotient of the total number of children divided by the, the number of children in each group. So let's substitute the numbers here. That will be equal to the quotient of 4383 divided by 100. What would it be? Like we learned earlier, when you divide a number by 100, the last two digits will form the remainder and the remaining digits. The rest of the digits will form the quotient. So with that in mind, let's write the quotient as 43 and the number of children left, those children who were not part of any groups. So number of children left will be equal to the remainder of the total number of children divided by the number of children in each group. So substituting the numbers, we get the remainder of the division 4383 divided by 100. So the last two digits, the digit at the ones and the tens places together will form the remainder and this is the quotient. So taking the remainder, we have the answer here as 83. So 83 children were left after the grouping was done and the number of groups formed were 43 groups. I hope this question is clear to you. We can go through the topic division by 10, 100 and 1000 in page number 57 of your textbook. Once you're done with that, please move on to exercise 4.2, which is in the next page, page number 58. You have to complete the question numbers 1, 2, 4, 5 and 6. Question number 3, we already discussed in class. So that's all for today. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Until then, bye.